I came to the church when my dad s settled uh, in Santa Maria as a sharecropper with uh, Sheehy's Berry Farm. And uh, we came not so much at church because we worked Sundays. So we came on Saturday nights as the MYF group. And we had fellowship and then we had a great pianist named Joe Ponce. And God, he could play anything in this world. I tell you, you could just name off a tune and he would play it for you. So we'd sit there and have a big sing-along with him. Well, I, I guess it, it was instilled in me that, you know, I should, go, I should go to some church. And my older brother, who has passed away, insisted that we come to the Japanese church. Because we first were going to the First Presbyterian Church over there in Santa Maria. And then they organized this church, and so therefore we decided to come here. Well, we came to Christ United Methodist Church because uh, Coco's sister Rona was already living here, and she invited us here, and we came and we had a chance to meet the people here, and uh, of course uh, we had a chance to meet the Reverend uh, Nomoko Miyaki Stoner, and we were impressed with the whole place, and we decided this would be our church when we moved up here. I, uh, I was a Buddhist before, and uh, has to go way back, I don't know, over 50 years ago. <laughs> the reason why I joined this church was uh, the girl I was dating was a member of this church, and she got me to join this church. And I became a member April 10, 1955, Easter Sunday. I came here from San Jose, and I used to attend Wesley uh, United Methodist in Japantown in San Jose. Um, I had gotten involved in that church through a friend in Hawaii who gave me a name to call when I got up here, and so I went to Wesley. So then when I left Wesley, I was given the name of um, someone to call here in Santa Maria to get involved with this church. I was given the name of Emmy Tanoe to uh, contact that she belonged to this church here. And so I did, I called her and she invited me to come, and I did, and she was here to greet me at the door when I came in. and. It, and it was just such a warm welcome, and I just stayed. I started coming here because um, I met Reverend Tim Boyle at one time, and he uh, urged me to come to the church here. After moving here to Santa Maria, uh, of course, uh, because Tommy was new to the United States, and we were looking for some uh, Japanese friends, and we discovered that uh, that there was a, uh, a Japanese Christian church, and so we started being uh, Eastern Christmas people. And then uh, after our daughter was born, uh, and she, well, she must have been, must have been a couple years after that, then we came and, uh, and took her to Sunday school. And then the same thing with our son, and, uh, and so that's how we, uh, we came here to Santa Maria and found this church. Um, everybody, almost everybody goes to uh, church, so I would think I should bring ch children to, to church, that's why. Yeah. We uh, lived over on the west side of town and Mike Morizana, who was a minister at that time, had three children. One of them, Dee, was Barbara's age, I guess it was, and Shirley. they met Shirley's age. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they met at Fairlawn School. So Mike, come over and got us to join the church. I started coming to this church because my daughter was a friend of Sumi Araki Kawaguchi's, and she was invited to be a guest here, and she asked if I'd come pick her up. I didn't even know this was a Methodist church. And I walked into the church to pick Thais up, and tears started streaming down my face because I knew I'd come home. I was raised Methodist. And this church felt like home the minute I got here. And it's felt that way ever since. <laughs> 